Hi, I'm Jason Bagnell with JB Computer Services in Castleberry, Florida, just outside Orlando. There's been a lot of buzz on the internet and YouTube about solid state drives and their comparison to regular hard drives that we have in most of our computers today. I myself have a Western Digital Velociraptor 300 gigabyte, 10,000 RPM, that's a mouthful, but that means it's a really fast consumer grade hard drive, one of the better and faster ones you could possibly buy, but it still is a hard drive and has moving parts. In order to test to see if an SSD would help me, I decided to go ahead and buy one and do some benchmarks um, and, and find out for myself. So I'd like to share this video with you guys to also let you compare for yourself by looking at how it helped my computer's performance and maybe this will help you make the decision of what, whether to get one or not. So what I have is I purchased an OCZ Vertex 2 50 gigabyte, which I'd recommend much bigger, but I just wanted to test and play with it, um, SSD solid state drive. And what I've done is I have cloned the contents of my Western Digital Velociraptor hard drive over to this OCZ solid state drive and it's an exact image so both are going to run the exact same software. Um, I'll go ahead and boot Windows up and then right when Windows hits the desktop in the startup group I have 10 applications that instantly all try to run at the same time and as you know that's normally murder for your computer if you start trying to open everything right when it's in the boot up process. So I thought I would torture it. I'm going to have it open right away. Open uh, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, uh, Acrobat 9 Professional, Internet Explorer, iTunes with a good sized library, um, CCleaner, Malwarebytes and a Malware, and then Task Manager. And we'll use a stopwatch to just time and see what happens. So right now this is my computer running the solid state drive by OCZ. And I'll turn on the computer. And as soon as the BIOS screen disappears, I'll go ahead and start the test so we can get the true hard drive performance. Okay, so here comes the BIOS screen, and ready, set, go. Alrighty, it's off, so we're booting up on the solid state disk. Now once it loads, um, the task manager will be one of the last things to come up. I won't stop the timer until the task manager shows roughly 0% CPU utilization. That's when everything is loaded and it's done thinking. Alright, 20 seconds and it's already starting to open applications. It booted up from a cold boot. Incredible. 26 seconds. And it looks like the programs are almost done being loaded. And zero. Okay, 33.1 seconds, plus or minus a second of me with a human error. <laughs> Unbelievable. So the next thing is we'll do the same exact test with the Western Digital Velociraptor hard drive and just see if it holds its own or if it's a little bit slower or if it's a lot slower. So I'll be right back with those results. Okay, now we're all ready to test with my Western Digital 300 gig, 10,000 RPM Velociraptor hard disk drive. So this one does have moving parts, unlike the solid state disk, which has no moving parts. It's pretty much like a giant fast flash drive, like we carry around in our pockets from computer to computer. But this is the hard drive, one of the faster, better ones. And I'll go ahead and do the same exact test, running the same image, uh, just on the different drives. So here we go. Turn the power on, get my stopwatch ready. Again, as soon as the, uh, the bias screen disappears, I'll start my timer. All right, monitors are warming up. There's the BIOS, and ready, set, go. All right, so this is our test to see can this really fast hard drive keep up with just you know the, the OCZ Vertex 2 solid state disk. My computer is only capable of doing serial ATA2. They now have come out with a better, faster standard serial ATA3, um, and some of the newer flash drives are able to take advantage of that and almost double their throughput compared to what I just showed you. That's just Im Im very, very impressive and amazing. But most computers we have in our, in our laptops and desktops don't support SATA3 unless they're brand new. So, okay, we have Windows is up. It looks like the applications are starting to pop up. My task manager's there. Now, I notice it's behind because there's nothing in the taskbar at the bottom. I don't see the programs listed yet. The computer is probably scrambling trying to uh, trying to load everything and our timer is currently at 52 seconds it's still going I see some programs popping up I've got a lot of white screens that are sitting there um, it's still loading uh, unlike the SSD drive I can hear the hard drive churning away uh, trying to access everything we're at 1 minute 7 seconds the CPU utilization is still going off the chart I still have more programs there's iTunes just opened up with the library it's still going 
and I still have utilization. I'll stop it as soon as it looks just like the other one did with no CPU utilization. So 25%, 26%, 30, and should be any time now, right there, stop. Okay, so that was one minute and 32 seconds. Much, much, much longer than the solid state drive. So clearly we can see that even though I had a really fast hard drive, it couldn't even scratch. It's almost, um, it's, you know, it, it's like the solid state is about a third of the boot up time running 10 programs. Uh, part of that's due to the fact that the solid state disk have um, access times of 0.1 millisecond where um, general hard drives go anywhere from 6 to 12 to maybe 15 or higher on an older drive and that gives them a huge advantage. Uh, what I did notice though was with the solid state drive it's almost as if the applications are already there. Like if you if you just boot it up nothing's in memory and you run Photoshop or you run Word or Excel or anything large the drive is so fast it just pops right on the screen just like you had already been in and out of it once and then that second time it just comes right up but that's not the case it's the first time it loads it loads so quick it's almost unnoticeable that it's even loading anything it just appears so I think we have a hands down winner definitely the OCZ Vertex 2 uh, I have the 50 gigabyte which if you have Windows 7 you don't want to keep that unless you have like a laptop or something that you're not going to load up but I, I think in my near future I'll be purchasing a much larger version of that because that just blew me away. It went from 33.1 seconds to over 1 minute and 30 seconds, 1 minute 32 seconds. Uh, tremendous time saving. So I highly recommend these. Um, if you want to make one of the biggest differences to your computer, I'd strongly recommend getting your hands on an SSD. Uh, the only thing you'll have to do if you want to make it exactly the same like I did is use a program like Symantec Ghost or another disk imaging program to make an exact copy from one drive to the other. Um, also, as far as I know, all of the SSDs are um, serial ATA, so if you have a much older computer that uses the older hard drives, the IDE ATA hard drives, I don't believe they have a product available at this time. I'd have to research more to find out for sure. Well, I hope these results helped you, and uh, I look forward to doing more benchmarks and tests for you in the future. All right, thanks, guys.